गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वी विल डिस्कस प्रोसेस शीट फॉर सिंगल स्पिंडल ऑटोमैट आई एम मिस्टर पी एस चौगुले फ्रॉम एस आई टी सी ओ ई यड्रा सो वी विल डिस्कस फॉर प्रोसेस शीट फॉर दिस कंपोनेंट नाउ यू कैन इमेजिन दिस कंपोनेंट एंड हियर दे हैव मैंशन द मटेरियल इज ऑफ ब्रास विच इज ऑफ ट्वेंटी एम एम डायमीटर सो लेट एस स्टार्ट फर्स्ट विथ अ डिटेल प्रोसेस शीट so for that what you need you need to know the tool motion so let us uh, take one example if i want to drill this component this throughout drill so for that i need to move the tool in this direction and we call this direction as a longitudinal motion which is parallel to the axis of component and if i want to face this portion or the facing operation if i want to perform the facing operation for that my tool will move in a perpendicular in this direction so we call it as a transverse motion so let us see this with the animation so this is my tool if tool moves in this way in this direction we call it as longitudinal motion and if tool moves in this way for performing that operation we called it as transverse motion so let us start with the operation so initially we are having only 20 mm diameter bar which has to we need to operate we need to perform the facing operation initially so this one is the first operation we need to perform the facing and for the facing our tool motion will be the transverse motion so i will mention over here transverse motion secondly we need to perform the central drilling operation and for that our tool will move in a longitudinal motion i have shown here the tool motion by a letter and by the direction also so next one is the throughout drill turning then the grooving groove for this one then uh, chamfer this one chamfer 1 multiplied by 45 degree and after completing this component we need to part off we need to cut this component and we called it as part off for that our tool has to move in a transverse motion so we need to divide this so we have divided this seven operations accordingly by the tool motions so the transverse motion and the longitudinal motion so for a slide operation we need to take the transverse motion so here it is facing grooving chamfering and part of these are the four operations will be performed with the help of slides and next one is the turret operation which will be performed by this longitudinal motion if tool moves in a longitudinal way then we need to mount that tool on the turret if tool moves in a transverse motion then we need to mount that tool on the slide so here it is i have shown one picture real diagram for this one this one is the slide and this one is the turret as i said earlier the slide operations these are the slide operations i have sorted it with the help of a tool motion those operations which will perform by this direction i will sort out this under the headline of slides and under the headline of turret i will sort out these three operations so if i prepare one simple table it includes the turret operations these are the th three turret operations and these are the four the slide operations elements so initially we need to feed our bar that is the bar feeding and approach of tool then next one i have mentioned over here tool travel so see how i have mentioned the all these components so we will start with the facing so facing is of 10 mm so initially there will be a 20 mm bar and we need to perform the facing operation up to this center line so this distance will be of 10 mm so i have mentioned the tool travel is of 10 mm 
Likewise, I have mentioned the number of tool travels, out of which you need to concentrate on these two. This is a drill of 8 mm diameter. If I drill for a 40 mm, you will see here one conical shape at this point. So for to avoid this conical shape or to maintain the throughout drill, I need to move tool 2 mm after the 40 mm. 2 mm after the 40 mm. And for the part of, for the part of, if I am doing the part of, then this distance, this radial distance is of 10 mm. And initially I have done one central drilling process throughout drilling so that means i need to part of this component with the help of this only the distance so i will minus this 4 mm radius of the drill from this 10 mm radius of the component so which is i have mentioned over here 10 minus 4 which is equal to 6 we need to move our tool 6 mm only to part of this see now what happen actually see here this is the central drilling now remember this one if tool moves in a direction parallel to this axis then we mount that tool on the turret now if i perform the central drilling process of 8 mm diameter it will move in this way it will move after that i need to retract this tool from the component and we need to are you getting see one more time here it is the position after the central drilling process we need to retract the component or the tool sorry we need to retract the tool and we need to index our turret retract and index and for that we are calling it as indexing so we need to add indexing over here in the element after the central drilling we need to index after the drilling we need to index in this way we have performed the turret operations in the same way when we perform for the grooving operation to maintain the surface finish at this place we need to put our tool at this position for somewhat time we called it as dwelling so for slide operations i have changed after the facing there will be dwelling after grooving there will be dwelling after chamfer there will be dwelling for part of you need not to stop for the dwelling operation and again i have mentioned over here tool retract <coughs> So, see, for the facing, I need to move 10 mm, 2 mm, 1 mm, part of 10 minus 4. In this way, I have prepared the initial two columns for this process sheet. Next one, I need to find or I need to select the spindle speed. So, component material, I have, as I have told you earlier, the brass and tool we are using here hss tool so we will select the cutting speed as uh, 60 mm 60 minute per uh, uh, 60 meter per minute so the formula is v is equal to by dn divided by 1000 where the v means cutting speed pi d means the diameter of component n means the spindle speed and we need to find the spindle speed for that we will rearrange the terms so our formula becomes n is equal to v multiplied by 1000 divided by pi d if we put the our uh, our dimensions in that formula we will get n is equal to 955 which is nearly equal to 1000 mm 1000 revolutions per minute so we will select that 1000 revolutions per minute here it is now how to find this one initially we will mention the feed so it is fixed for the turret 0.1 
and for the slide 0.5 it is in the millimeter per revolutions so for the single revolution of the spindle i need to move our tool 0.1 mm only so this is the fit it is fixed so under the turret operations you may take directly 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 for each and every operation and for the slide you need to take 0.5 mm per revolution and these are the ideal degrees next column is of ideal degrees this ideal degree ideal degree means in which there will be no operations performed or metal removing operations performed so for the bar feeding at the time of bar feeding there will be ma no metal removing process at the time of approach of tool there will be no removing process at the time of indexing there will be no removing uh, material removing process so here you need to remember this one for the bar feeding there will be only 9 degrees available for the approach of tool there will be only 12 degrees available within that 12 degree our approach of tool this operation has to perform then for the indexing it is 12 degree now remember this one for turret operation for the indexing you need to take ideal degrees 12 it is fixed 12 and for the dwelling you need to take 2 degrees 2 degrees here it is and when we take summation of this ideal degrees it becomes 75 so i have make the summation of these ideal degrees and it comes as a 75 degree from that i need to extract the machining degrees so formula for machine find out the machining degrees is 360 degree minus the summation of ideal degrees so 360 minus 75 it comes as a 285 so we are having only 285 degrees available for these machining means the central drill this drilling process or outer diameter turning for all these operations we are having only 285 degrees so we will find the machining degrees so for that we will take the revolutions required for the operations we will find out the revolutions by using this formula the tool travel which is i will take i have taken here a simple example central drill which is of 4 mm so 4 mm divided by feed we have taken here 0.1 feed so if we divide this 4 by 0.1 it will come at as 40 so by this we we, are, we know the revolutions required for the operations it is of 40 mm now available degrees of 360 for 360 degrees the spindle speed is of 1000 revolutions and for how much degree it will complete the 40 revolutions so central drilling process it will finish within 14 revolutions so how we can find out this be by the cross multiplication 40 multiplied by 360 divided by 1000 it will come it as 14.4 degree here it is 14.4 degrees by the same way you can calculate the remaining machining degrees for each and every operations so if we make summation of all these points or all these degrees it will come it as 286.56 but we need to uh, finish the these operations within the 285 degrees so still we are ahead 1.56 degrees so we need to uh, manipulate these data or we need to make the whole degrees so instead of 14.4 i have taken over here 30 13 instead of 151.2 i have taken here 150 in this way you need to make the manipulation such that the total is of 285 degrees and i have mentioned over here machining revolutions also 
so 4 into 0.1 it will come as 40 so to remember this one I have mentioned over here the formula 4 into 0.1 it come as 40 42 into 0.1 it come as 420 and by using this formula we need to find this machining degrees so for the drilling process 420 into 360 divided by 1000 it come at as 151.2 but we are taking here 150 degree so here it is we have finished our process sheet and for that one more term we require as a degree sequence so initially i have mentioned over here degree sequence but how i have mentioned over here degree sequence i will explain by these diagrams so these are the seven operations we need to perform sequentially facing central drill turning throughout drill grooving jumper and part of these are the seven operations we need to perform the finish this component so initially we need to feed the bar so i will mention over here operations one approach of tool second then after that we need to perform the facing operation which is mentioned over here so three and along with this three we need to dwell so for that i have mentioned over here four degrees so three four then next one is the central drilling process so i have mentioned over here fifth number so first one is the bar feeding second one approach of tool third one is the facing fourth one is the dwelling and fifth one is the drilling after drilling remember one thing we need to immediately perform the indexing operation so after five i need to mention the six now after this one i need to perform the outer diameter turning so outer diameter turning this is the main operation and along with this i need to perform the indexing operation which is of 12 degree indexing operation by this way you need to mention the operational sequence after op after this operational sequence we need to finish or we need to know the degree sequence to uh, to find or to draw the cam for the turret or slide whatever you want so first operation is of bar feeding we will start from 0 and here it is idle degree 9 so 0 to 9 there will be bar feeding mechanism second operation is of up approach of tool so after 9 degrees 9 plus 12 you will get here 21 so 9 to 21 this 12 degree slot is of approach of tool then this, the next one is the third one facing operation facing operation i have taken 21 as a starting point which is the end point of approach of tool 21 and we need to add this machining degrees 7 degrees so 21 plus 7 it comes as a commit as 28 next one is the dwelling operation fourth operation so 28 plus 2 30 so 28 to 30 there will be degree sequence dwelling operation so by this way you need to complete the degree sequence and this will be the our basic process sheet after that you need to perform the cam operations and to draw cam i have taken elements tool travel operational sequence and the degree sequence so in the next slide you will show only these four columns by hiding these four columns see so i have taken because i i need to draw cam for the turret operations i have taken over here only the turret operations and along with these initial two elements the bar feeding and approach of tool and the degree sequence here it is the tool travel so we will start initially with the assumption the camshaft diameter is of 20 mm so here it is 20 mm camshaft diameter next one we will assume the initial position of tool and for that we will draw 
a diameter of 40 mm circle which is concentric circle as that of the cammed circle the next one is the base circle diameter so base circle diameter is of 50 mm so these are the three assumptions we made earlier and by you by the concentric circle method we are using we are for we have formed the three circle first circle is of cam circle next one is of initial position of tool next one is of base circle diameter and after this base circle diameter you need to take the maximum tool travel so here it is the for central drilling tool travel is of 4 mm for drilling operation tool travel is of 42 mm and outer diameter turning the tool travel is of 4 30 mm so we will take the maximum here it is 42 mm so <coughs> base circle radius which is 25 mm plus maximum tool travel which is 42 mm and by using these two terms addition of these two terms it will come as 67 mm we will take radius of radius 67 mm and we will form one circle after that so here it is the pictorial presentation of what actually happens at the time of each and every operation so first one initially the bar feeding mechanism 0 to 9 degree so we will mention over here 0 to 9 degree and see what actually happens inside this so there will be only bar feeding mechanism bar is fit into the chuck so there will be no any movement of these tools these two tools and that's why we need to stay as it is on the initial position after that there will be approach of tool which will be performed from 9 to 21 degrees so we will plot 21 degree angle and in between 9 to 21 there will be approach of tool so approach of tool i will show it over here from this initial position circle to the base circle i need to perform a smooth curve and see what happen actually it will slightly moves and that's why i have mentioned over here a smooth curve so next operation is of central drilling operation but it will start from 30 to 43 then what will what happens in between the 21 to 30 degree so if you remember the process sheet there will be facing operation between that so for the central drill we will take tool travel 4 mm from the outer circle 4 mm inside of this outer outer circle 30 mm 30 degrees at the 30 degree line we need to take 4 mm inside of this outer circle 4 mm and we will perform the central drilling process but remember this one before central drilling process there will be facing operation so we can't move tool directly from this level to this level directly we need to stop somewhere till this facing operation is done so the facing operation is in between 21 to 28 degrees so we will start this operation or tool approach of this central drill tool approach of central drill up to the middle one why because there will be facing operation initially it is performed over here so see because of this one we can't move our tool directly at this place because currently there will be a facing operation so after this one step we can move our component up to the bar so here it is i have shown over here now our tool can perform 4 mm central drill so from this 30 degree to 43 degree there will be central drilling process see in the picture will view there will be central drilling process so we need to show it by a smooth curve from this 4 mm point to this outer circle 
this is the operational sequence 30 to 43 30 to 43 degree there will be central drilling of 4 mm now next one we need to index we need to move this tool away from this component and we need to index and for that we need to take into consideration the next tool sequence so after six this is the seventh operation which is the outer diameter turning and for that the tool travel is of 30 mm so what i have to do i need to take the 30 mm distance from the outer circle outer circle 30 mm diameter 30 mm distance and at that 30 mm i need to mention the degree which is 55 degree so i will mention over here 55 degree and remember that 43 to 55 there will be indexing mechanism so see i will index this because the tool has to retract up to 30 mm and after that 30 mm see here in the pictorial view tool has to retract not only the on on the initial position but for getting the this tool up to this one we need to rotate this turret in a clockwise direction and for that i need to retract this tool up to 30 mm so here it is see so if i retract the tool less than 30 mm the tool will collide with this bar and that's why we need to take 30 mm inside of this circle so here it is the indexing mechanism so the next mechanism is of outer diameter turning 55 to 163 so here it is 55 so we will get here 30 mm point which is the tool travel and 163 at 163 at this point we need to complete our operation through a smooth curve in this way so i will i need to show the cam in this way a smooth curve from this 55 degree to 163 degree there will be a smooth curve after that we need to index and again remember that for the indexing we need to retract tool up to the tool travel of the next sequence so next sequence is of drilling which has a tool travel of 42 mm so we need to index tool our tool here it is indexing mechanism 163 to 175 so i will mention over here so we need to index tool so remember that this tool initially at 55 degree is at this place but now for the indexing we need to retract tool 42 mm why because this central drill has to come in front of this bar so 42 mm inside of this circle outer circle and we need to perform the indexing here it is next one operation is of drilling operation 42 mm so from 175 to 325 there will be drilling operation here it is drilling operation and we need to again perform from one say 175 to 325 we need to connect this by a smooth curve after that one more time we need to index our turret so here it is the indexing mechanism in between 325 to 337 we need to come at the base circle is it now we need to come at the base circle at the base circle after this after this uh, 337 degree there will be no operation will be performed by this turret and that's why it will remain at this position so 348 to 360 there will be retract of tool operation so here i have mentioned retract of tool so tool again come at zero position this is the cam diagram for 
our turret operations okay thank you and stay connected for more videos